You're tuned in to Ray and Bree Lil Productions. They like the girls, I ain't looking for no husband. Catch them on the two bullshit and they thug it. Don't like the video and join the discussion. You can subscribe if you want to, little buddy. Just know if you don't, you gon' miss these discussions. They come with the content and talk about stuff that they know that you do in the dog, but won't say in the public. Uh, side of great though. What up, Bree? What up, Ray? Hey guys, oh we look real kind of we look kind of bright right now. Like, oh that's a good camera. I'm dead, bro. I'm Ray and I'm Bree and you know what we back at it with with some bullshit. <laughs> Voila magic. Okay. I'm dead. All right, we gonna go ahead and start our s series two. I mean, episode two. Episode two. Of our first series. First series. Of our three. Random three questions. <laughs> three random questions with Ray and Bree. I'm Ray. And I'm Bree. Our episode two is for underscore J A S S I M H I N. Jasmine. But you know, she spelled it weird, so I spelled it out. For y'all. Three random questions from her. Shout out to her. Thank you for sending us the questions. Most definitely. Most definitely. They are, which component do y'all believe is more important in a relationship? Hold on, wait. Pause. Can we? Can we fix this? Yeah. Thanks. Come on, let's go. Shout out. Bray. Bray. Productions. Side of great thought. Sit and talk different topics with my best friend. I gotta be crooked. My shirt tight and butt. Doesn't matter. Ooh, that wasn't a shirt. That's just fine. All right. <laughs> Three questions from Jasmine. I'm going to restate them because I didn't really get to finish. Boom. Which component do y'all believe is more important in a relationship? Love or connection? Number two. If y'all could only choose one, would you rather have peace or happiness? Explanation behind that. And question number three. What life altering things should every human ideally get to experience at least once in their lives? Question number one, like we said, which component do y'all believe is more important in relationship, love, or connection? Connection! All day. Do you not agree? I actually, you know, I do. I was about to say, because I'm like, you just, you contemplating a little hard. I did, like you didn't I agree. did. I thought about it for a minute, because I'm like, damn, like, what's anything without love? But love will come if the connection is there. Exactly. You could love somebody and there be no connection, and then you just fuck, um, you just messed up. Uh-huh. So, uh, but but pause. How can you love somebody and not have a connection? though? easy. You could love somebody for for anything. Like you could start loving them because they're cute. You could love them because they're funny. No, I don't. That don't no. the, a connection is something interpersonal. That's deep. I feel like love is a connection. Love is a portion of connection, I guess, in a sense. You're right, but I feel like you could love somebody without having a real connection to them. I can't love nobody if I don't have a connection with you. I, I love. Okay, I love people. Like, God, you know, wants you to love everybody. You know what I'm saying? Right. So, that's that's a simple love, though. You right. know what I'm saying? I love my brother and my sister type thing. Right. But loving someone, I have to have a connection to love them. Yeah, but what's more important? I, connection, connection to have love. But, like, how right. is it? But you, I'm just saying you can't have like, love. You can't have love without a connection. I love my exes, and I don't have no connection with them no more. No, no, that's not true. I don't. You had, you had, but you had a connection. Had, but I'm talking, we talking about like, I don't know, I guess it look, it's the aspect and what point in your life you're at, you know? Ultimately, the answer is connection. <laughs> connection is more important because without a connection, like, okay, I guess in a sense you're right, without a connection, you can't really love. Exactly. But the love won't stay if the connection ain't always there. Like, you can't, the love won't matter if you, if the connection starts to fail, like. Okay. Like, you need the connection. If y'all connection is strong throughout everything, that's friendships, relationships, whatever. As long as y'all have a connection, I think the relationship itself will stay strong. Love or not. Beautiful. Beautiful. Any other word? Nope. Any other heartfelt words, bro? Nope. Next question. If y'all could only choose one, would you rather have peace or happiness? Peace. What, boy? What? 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 I'm thinking. Oh, my goodness. This, you over here 
here looking like you counted on your fingers like peace. Damn, this is really, really... How is it that hard? Because happy if it, I'm happy, I'm going to be at peace. I'm never I'm it, never happy if I could be at peace and not be happy still. Like... Wait, what? Happiness and peace are different. Yes, they are. I'm aware. But if I'm happy, I'm ne I, I could be peaceful and not be happy still. I could be... But you can ha be... I, can't, you I can, feel like you can't be peaceful without... I mean, I could be... What? You can't, you can't be happy without peace. Yes, you can. No, you can't. But you can't. I could be peaceful and not be happy though. Cause if I'm just at a state of peace, if I'm just peaceful, like you know, it's not. It could be whatever. I don't mean I'm necessarily happy. Okay, but Happiness I feel like that's a, a that's a moment of contentment. Like I don't think that it's. But it's, you're not upset either though. You're just content. Right, but I'll pick happiness any. Cause happiness, I'm happy. Like what? Happy is an excitement, joy. So, Okay, okay. I don't First mind. Of all, I could have a, a world full of chaos if I'm happy. I'm happy. I mean, I, I could walk through fire if I'm happy. It ain't gonna matter. What? That's how I feel. But how, but how, but I don't, I don't, I don't, I don't agree. <laughs> Cause I feel like with, with happiness, I don't know, you, you need peace. Like you have, you have to have peace to be happy. Like, that's not true. Let's see. Let me see. Um, it would, I feel like it's hard to explain. It I don't is. Know. It is hard to explain. But I feel like, Okay, so 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 you say you're rich, right? Okay. You have a lot of money. You're happy, but that doesn't mean you're at peace. That don't mean that don't mean I'm happy. I could be rich and be at peace and not be happy with my life. I'm at peace. I'm content that I'm rich, but I'm not content. happy. But I'm not happy. I didn't say that. Oh my goodness. Ooh, We're talking about happiness and peace right now. That's what I just said. You're happiness right. and peace. Right. You're, but you're basically saying like I could be rich and be happy, but I'm not at peace, right? That's what you just said. Okay. But I can also be rich and be at peace, but I'm not happy. I'd rather be happy than be at peace because I could be I could be in a world full of but chaos. Why wouldn't you be at peace if why wouldn't you be happy if you're at peace? That's not necessarily because it's a state of contentment. You could be content and still not be happy. Why? What do you mean why? Why wouldn't why why wouldn't you be? Just if you had a state of contentment. Content, content I feel like why wouldn't you be I feel happy like content, about that? Content, I feel like you could just be at this level. Like I could be content at this level. That don't mean I don't want more. But I would be happy. You don't. It's not about not wanting more. But you're not upset. You're not in chaos. But when you're happy, you're not upset either. But then, but you're not at peace. What you? But you? But that could be anything. Like you could, you could be at peace and still not be happy though. Define being at peace. You define it. I asked you first. The at peace. Is well, just, we about to ask Miriam. Like I don't know, understand. Yes, I was asking my past Google. Oh my um, goodness. I feel like peace. Me being at peace, I could be just. I just got off of work, and I'm laying in the bed chilling, and I'm just at peace. I'm relaxed. Peace. Nothing's going on around me. I could just have this monotone ass, all of that, <laughs> and be at peace. But when I'm happy, girl, I'm smiling. <laughs> I just feel like they're, I mean, they're completely, they're different. I get what you're saying. Like, don't, don't get me wrong. I completely understand where you're coming. Like, why would you be at peace and not be happy? But you can be. Just like you could be happy and still not have peace going on with your life. Like, like I said, like. So you'd rather be happy than be at peace. Mm hmm Because me being happy is just, um, I don't know, happiness is just happiness. Like, if I'm happy, everything could be crumbling around me. And as long as I'm happy... I don't know. Maybe, maybe, my, I feel, okay, now I'm about to get a little bit deeper. Okay. I feel like my reasoning for feeling like I need to be at peace is, is religious. Because I feel like my soul needs to be at peace for me to be happy. Like, if my soul is not at peace, I can't be happy. So, you're, I mean, that means you looking at it a little bit deeper. Like, you looking at it from a whole other aspect than what... Well, I was looking at it as like we talking about religion here. You talking about your soul having to be at peace? That's a whole nother ball. That's man. what I felt like needs to be at <laughs> peace though. Like what what else is at peace? Just just it could be like uh, like I said, it could be like a state of your. It's like a state of your emotions for the moment. Right. I could be peaceful for the moment, and the next minute be pissed, or right. the next minute be happy. It's just a state. It's just like one physical state. Mm, no, no, I don't. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Third question. <laughs> Cause we can talk about this all day. Last question. What life altering thing should every human ideally get to experience at least once in their life? Sex. I don't believe that anything else. I, I that's honestly I, that's what I feel. Cause like I feel like everybody needs to feel 
that oh, that that course. body that body outer body experience that we be having you feel me but that's crazy because everybody's not going to experience that if you're you can have wet sex forever yep I, I i trust me i understand but i feel like everybody needs to have somebody good once in their life period I don't, I don't know. I don't believe that there's nothing else that you need to do. It ain't like you need to go bungee jumping. It ain't like you need to go drive a fast car. It ain't, We're no. We're talking about life altering though. Exactly. And I feel like sex is life altering. I don't. I feel like there's, I feel like you need to lose somebody who means something to you. Nope. Like to death. Nope. And you also have to experience a heartbreak. Nope. This ain't, this is an opinion. Huh? I'd rather have lived my life happy as hell with whomever having great sex we're talking about life okay that's, that is that's, life altering that's your, okay that's your opinion that's your opinion why do, I, I don't want nobody to die i'm to, we're talking what she said was a life altering experience i've dealt with both so i know exactly what both of those states have done to me and how they've altered my life i have too and i'd rather them have not died i wouldn't take of course not because so i'd rather person, have not gone through the situation but my whole thing is that helps you build you to be somebody that you would not be if you did not experience that we're talking about life altering experiences here but what if it made me worse it could have but you i'd need, rather have it made me great i'd rather have been great which is sex that makes me happy yeah because you don't really often experience bad sex like it's different okay it's different we're talking about life altering experiences that will help i feel like everyone ideally needs to deal with i feel like you have to go through a heartbreak so you fit, you can learn how to uh, really love somebody because if you don't ever deal with that you won't know i feel like there's no way like if i if before i ever got my heart broken i did not know how to love that person to their full my full of potential after i got my heart broken i know how to love somebody now i know what what is acceptable and what is not acceptable so i feel like that is an experience that you have to deal with in order to be a better it helps build character that shit hurts and you might not it understand helps build character. you might not understand that why you're going through it and i would not wish a heartbreak on nobody but ideally to a life altering experience i feel like a heartbreak is one of uh, something that everyone needs to know what it feels like so that way you can learn what how to be loved how you're supposed to love and not to put that on nobody else i hear you i hear you i hear you but i don't believe that i need to go through a heartbreak to love someone to learn to know how to really love someone to my fullest potential i don't think that a heartbreak I will do that for you me if you never got if you never got your heartbroken before you wouldn't know how to love the way i didn't you say do. that i haven't exactly you have that's what i'm saying like we you would never know what's on the other side because you're already you already crossed that barrier in your life like you would never know actually yes you do know because you knew the hoe that you was before you got your heart broken you got your heart broken and now you don't want to do that to somebody. Wait, Period. Wait. So that life altering experience <laughs> that you have to go through to, so you know how to love somebody. Period. Like, period. You have to have your heart broken. All right, she talking about people dying and you getting your heart broken. Have some good sex and live your life. Uh, having good sex, you won't know what's good until you have better. That's a fact too. True, that's a fact. You won't know what's bad until you have better, or you won't know what's good or what's great is until you. First of all, there's no cap to sex, so one person might make you feel like that's the best experience ever. Oh, you took it to another you, level. That's some stuff. That's some deep stuff. That's, that's some something stuff, to think about. Boy. <laughs> I'm just saying, like, you you won't know that's a life-altering experience until you actually have a life-altering experience. That is crazy because it's, like, it's, it's literally been like that. Like, every time, like, I've had, like, oh, okay, this person, who's your best sex partner? This person. Okay, then all of a sudden, did it with somebody else. Next thing you know, that you're person. the best. You're the best. <laughs> Good <though>. job. <laughs> you did that. Exactly. Like, I've had some pretty mind-blowing sex before. Mm -hmm. What I thought was mind-blowing, then I had even better even from the same person. I had mind-blowing sex with them. I thought there was no better than that. Then they gave that is me crazy. better. It's like, that was life-altering to me. That is crazy. Like, you never know. Like, I feel like sex, that's like a... I feel like sex is so... Like, the feelings you get through that is different. And everybody's heartbreaks are different. But the, the pain is going to be know. the same. I don't know. Man, that crying over every night staying up all night can't breathe feeling that's an everybody heartbreak i don't care what nobody say i can't do i can't do it i'm not going I, re to. I don't want to go through that I, will, I refuse to go through it again but it, i can't honestly say that me getting my heart broken didn't help me be a better person to love somebody better because it did i guess i don't know because i'm right i didn't say you was wrong <laughs> yeah. i just still believe for myself for your sake for my sake okay. that i should have just had great sex my entire life with no heartbreak and no death and I would have been and a I blissful be human being. You would still be a hoe. 
what's wrong with that? What it what is so wrong with that? Being a hoe? If I if I'm blissful, what is so wrong with that? Whatever. I mean, hey, ain't nobody tell you you can't be the next Hugh Hefner. What? Boom! He he died a happy man. How you know? You ain't know him. He. He got a lot of vagina. He died a happy man. You don't know that. He died a happy man. Did he? I know his penis was happy. That might be true, but that's what <laughs> I, I bet. Got. I bet he died you in that casket with the homie standing up. I bet. You can't think about. You I can't bet. think from that part of your body, cause then you messed up. You messed up. When you if I could just think with that part of my body, I would be happy in life. Wow, you I, have no soul. Um, I have one. It's broken. It's just. Shattered into pieces. No, it ain't shattered. It's just in the corner somewhere. Okay. You know, you just lock it in a box for a second. Okay. You know what I'm saying? Do you? And then you bring it out when it's time. When you need it. Yeah. Yeah, all right. Mm -hmm. That's when, like that's like feelings. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. You put your feelings in the corner. Okay. And then when you're like, hmm, I might be able to give you a feeling. Okay. You another feeling. And then all of a sudden, here you can have them all. Mm -hmm. <laughs> love me. I'm going to love you forever. Cause I there like the feeling, hmm? the feeling you keep just bringing out the closet. You so <laughs> just love me. Just love me. Well, y'all, that's episode two. Episode two of the three questions. Three random questions with Ray and Bree. I'm ready. No, I'm Bree. Make sure y'all do what y'all gotta do. Like, comment, and subscribe. Tell a friend to tell a friend to tell all of them. We want to thank you for sitting watching the video. It's more to come, I promise. Hit that bell and leave a comment, though. Say you want the cussing, well, we deliver like dominoes. You smell what we cooking. If you can't show it, go clear your nose. We had you laughing. Where's Khalifa High with no smoking? Please don't watch the video and eat shit. You might choke. Notification squad, we looking where you at, though. R&B gang over everything. We lit, folk. Go ahead and so We know you twerking to this outro. Patience for the next video, cause shit, we out, bro.